impeachment hearings, they're raging all night. You're looking at this live. This is not uh, from stock footage. It's not library stuff. Now the House Judiciary Committee could vote on articles of impeachment, both of them, before the night is out. In fact, it's expected. Republican Congressman Greg Subi joins us now. He's out of Florida. He's actually in that committee hearing, stepped out for us, but represents Florida, and serving on that committee. Congressman, how would you describe what has been taking place in there tonight, today? Well, yeah, we've been there since 9 a.m. this morning, and uh, I will say that we have the versions of the facts, and the Democrats are using their talking points, and uh, obviously nobody's opinion is going to be changed on the facts, and uh, it's it's one side speaking their talking points, and us talking about the, the facts of this case that the Democrats have tried to bring. Uh, abuse of power and uh, obstruction of Congress, things that aren't even in the Constitution under what you can impeach a president for. So a lot of us has taken time to talk about uh, how challenging this is and uh, how we all are opposed to it as Republicans. So you have these two articles. You're not talking anything with the Mueller probe. You're not talking about bribery. You're talking about abuse of power and obstruction of Congress, and you're pushing back at it. But when it came to Ukraine and supplying weapons to fight back against the Russians, that's where the rubber hit the road for you. Tell us what happened. You know, having served in the military and served in Operation Iraqi Freedom, actually been in a combat theater, uh, myself and Mr. Collins took great reproach to some of the comments. Suddenly the Democrats were stating that because the aid didn't get there in the three weeks that it was delayed, that Ukrainians died at the hands of Russians because they didn't get the aid in time. It's absolutely ridiculous to think that aid didn't get to the Ukrainians and the Ukrainians died because President Trump didn't get the aid there within a three week period of time. And for people that served and for people that served our country, it's just absolutely appalling that the Democrats would stoop to such low grounds to try to bring in the fact that, oh, because this aid was delayed for a couple of weeks, Ukrainians died at the hands of Russians and it's President Trump's fault. So in Paris, Vladimir Putin is meeting with President Zelensky as they try to heal what's going on between those two countries. Clearly, the Russians are the aggressive in trying to uh, beat up on the Ukrainians after stealing Crimea. And it's important for Zelensky to know America has his back against Vladimir Putin. Do you? And we, and we have. Uh, unlike the Obama administration that sent them blankets, President Trump sent them actual military aid and javelins to be able to defend against Russian aggression. It's interesting, all these Democrats are in here talking about how the Ukraines needed this military aid, but you didn't hear them talking about it during the Obama administration when he wasn't sending them military aid to be able to defend themselves against Russian aggression. So for the rest of the night, we understand over the next few hours, you're gonna vote on both these articles of impeachment and nobody's really making any progress either way. So you got to uh, vote tonight, you're thinking around midnight? I think there's probably going to be several more amendments from Republicans, so we'll probably be here for the next hour or two at the, at a, at the minimum. Uh, this could easily go after midnight. It's just going to depend on how much each mem member wants to talk on each one of these amendments that are proposed. Lastly, is there an amendment that the people at home should know that you're going to put forward, or is, it just to, is this just to get under their skin? Uh, a lot of them were very uh, e simplistic so that the American people could understand what we were trying to do. The First Amendment we did took out the first article, which was the abuse of power article, because it is so amorphous gotcha. and so wide and variant that you could charge any president with abuse of power, and it's right. not in the Constitution. So we've right. been very specific about our approaches. So I've been flipping the screen, watch, listening to you, watching what's going on. you got about three or four more fights to get in the middle of. So Congressman Stubbe, i got to send you back inside. Appreciate All it. All right, thanks for having me. Good thank, to see you. Thank you for, for bringing us inside the historic hearings. Meanwhile. Uh